Hello, procrastinators. Dan's ill or on fire or something. I don't know. That's what you get for not liking Dark Souls enough. Anyway, I am Ashens and I'm in charge today. So there's going to be none of this Just Cause 3 recent game nonsense. There's going to be none of this editing and all this other fancy schmancy rubbish. It's going to be 30 frames of pure truth every second fired directly into your eyeballs. And there's going to be audio as well, obviously. So... For today's game, we shall be playing Jet Set Willy 2, The Final Frontier for the ZX Spectrum, released in 1985, and is the official sequel to one of the most popular home computer games ever. Here's a quick potted history then. Uh, a young boy, literally, he's like 13 or something, called Matthew Smith, wrote a game called Manic Miner, which was an incredibly good uh, platform game with a nice sense of humour behind it. Massively popular. Then made a sequel called Jet Set Willy, which uh, makes sense, actually. Yeah, I know it sounds like it doesn't, but um, the character from the first one was called Minor Willy. That was his name. And now he's joined the Jet Set, you see, because he got a load of money from selling the story to his adventures in the first game, I believe. A little bit meta for the sort of early 80s, but there we are. It happened. So there was then Jet Set Willy. But my personal favourite is Jet Set Willy 2, which is effectively really a, an expanded version of Jet Set Willy. Um, basically, it was going to be an expanded version of it made for the Amstrad CPC computer, but they ended up releasing it as its own game on various systems. And it fixes a lot of bugs and problems with Jet Set Willy, and also, perhaps most importantly, adds loads of extra cool stuff, like you can go to an alien planet via a spaceship and stuff like that. Now, I haven't played this game pr uh, possibly literally for years, I'm not sure, but, well, yeah, I am going to be rusty as hell, let's be honest here, but my plan is to try and reach the alien planet. This could be hard, because I can't really remember the way, amongst other things. Anyway, let us press the pause button, well, unpress the pause button, and begin. That's a Penrose Triangle. It's impossible. That's BP Music, because this is made to run on a ZX Spectrum, the original version, which had 48k of memory. Actually, that's not the original version. The original version had 16k of memory, but we'll ignore that one. So, and it had no kind of actual sound hardware, hence very, very BP. Anyway, let us press enter to start now. Now, there we are. That is Willy himself. Look at his little top hat. That's him jumping. The music is a version of In the Hall of the Mountain King, and it's very weird and blippy. This is because... Technically, the Spectrum can't really do anything particularly while it's playing music or making sounds. So it was thought, prior to this game, well, prior to Manic Mine, actually, that uh, you couldn't have music running in the background of a game on the Spectrum. But a young boy called Matthew Smith proved them wrong. This game, incidentally, is by a man called Derek Rosen, who took over from Matthew Smith when Matthew Smith went mad and left the country. Seriously, it happened. I'm now going to turn the music off. No! Ah, there we go. Game runs slightly better, and also, you don't have to listen to the pissing music. So, the first thing you do is take the tap off the bath for good luck. Blink. So the story goes, um, Jet Set Willy here has had a bit of a party going on, and oh my goggly goodness, it's a mess everywhere, and his housekeeper Maria won't let him go to bed until he clears the place up, which you do by exploring his giant mansion and picking up objects. Now, um, Jet Set Willy 2 here um, has, as I say, expanded things. I think the story says he had some builders in that were aliens. Doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. But do you know the biggest difference between this and Jet Set Willy 1? The toilet kills you. I think you could walk inside it on the first one. Anyway, that's irrelevant. In the Commodore 64 version, you can jump down the toilets for exclusive rooms. And if you're wondering what that thing at the top is, it's actually two globes, as in two planet Earths. Why are they yellow? Well, colours weren't the spectrum's strong point. Anyway, through the bathroom, through the dumb waiter, which should just be a lift, but is in fact a dumb bloke. We're not really going to worry about the objects because, frankly, it's so difficult. This is Macaroni Ted. Nobody knows. Literally, nobody knows. This is a Swiss Army knife, a barrel and a razor blade, because why not? And there is one of the dreaded monks with the extending noses. You can end up in the Forgotten Abbey and have to do a weird dance with the monks. Um, in order to uh, progress, which is incredibly difficult, and only my mate Phil can uh, achieve it out of all the people I know. Anyway, do we go through here or through this? I think we might go down through here. Let's have a quick squiz. Oh god, the nightmare room where you turn into a flying pig. But, well, I say flying pig, it's really just a pig with wings, because it can't jump. These are all versions of his housekeeper, Maria. 
Whee! Oh god, the banyan tree! There was a design flaw in the original version. This meant you couldn't get past it. No, nope, we've gone the wrong way. Back. Reverse. Reverse. Avoid the Marias. Wonder what the hell that object is. Um, maybe a tankard full of booze? No idea. Anyway. And, oh, yeah, this is it. This is it. Right. So you go down the, to the kitchen to the left and main stairway to the right. Ending up in the weird room called Megaron, which I've never quite understood. Nice candelabra. Right. Let us try and avoid the rolling peanut and the evil bird with an extending neck. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm going to have that hatchet. Why the devil not? Now, this is the kitchen. Interesting fact about the kitchen and the other part of the kitchen is you can just hold the walk button and you avoid all the evil Gordon Ramseys flying up and down. See? Not so bloody easy if you want to get the object, though, or go up the um, set of red platforms there, which leads you to the bottom of the banyan tree, if I recall. Right, cold store. And whoop. onto the dreaded rope. Oh, look at that. Textbook. I want to nick this bit of frost. You never know what will come in handy. And the back stairway. The weird nomming face, a coin, and a blue peanut. That's not a euphemism. Underneath the wine cellar. Ah, no, the wine cellar. You can sort of sneak through the bit to the right and end up in the Forgotten Abbey. Or the tool shed. And the back door, which is a bit weird. Right. Let's go up. Let's go up. Through the west wing. Not the uh, political one. West wing roof. And past the orangery. Onto the conservatory roof. Over the shears or whatever the hell they are. I'm going to go for pliers, actually. Oop, the dreaded arrows. Be wary. Now, here's a little fact that is a little known. Under the roof, um, you see at the top there's all that purple stuff. It actually connects to the shape above it. And that is the uh, player's ship from a game called Zoom. The joke being that it's crashed into the top of the mansion. Yeah. Nomen Looney. That's Latin for the name of the moon. I, I don't know what relevancy that has. Yep, right. And, oh no, fucked it. Oh, oh, bugger. That's one life down. You don't get many. Oh, look at that. We made it. Eventually. On the roof, there is the rabbit that jumps across and then pirouettes back because it's a ballerina. Across there. Oh no, we have to do that up in the battlements. Oh, God. This is a reference to the old game Hunchback, which... Uh, you may or may not be familiar with. Oh, right up the jacksy. Right, this is bad. I may not even make it past this screen. I can't remember how to time that. Oh, like that, apparently. Now, the point of Hunchback was to pick up the bells at the end of each level, which they have... Uh... Oh, bugger, too quick. Whoa! Whoa there, Leslie. Oh, God. Oh, for... <sighs> Gonna be honest with you, that could have gone better. Right. I'm going to make it to... Oh, no, 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 music off. Oh, thank God for that. I'm going to make it to this alien planet if it kills me. It may literally do that. Why have they written... I love they've written lift on the lift in case you didn't know it was a lift. They're quite deadly, if I remember. I was going to go up the top here for a bit of a change, but nope, that would just be slow and boring. Over you. Uh, we went down here. Didn't Why is it to the left here, actually? Oh, no, we did do that last time. I think if you go left up above, you end up in his bedroom where Maria won't let you in. And does an amusing foot-stomping thing and then points you in the opposite direction if you get too close. And if you do it right, it looks like she's done a kind of karate move into your throat, which is always amusing. Right, I'm going to get the butcher's knife. Hey, meat cleaver. And what are these chefs holding? An excellent spoon, and I think it's just, yeah, the meat cleaver again. What is it about chefs and meat cleavers? My favourite one is the one in Diablo. I forget what he's called now. The Butcher, I think. Right. One, two, three. Avoid the asterisks. Oh, oh bloody hell. No, what you off? Oh, <coughs> Crikey. Come on, come on, come on. And we're over. <laughs> That's your frost gone. Come on, come on, come on. If I don't do it this time, um, I'll have to pick a different goal or something. Up we go. Rum, bum, 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 bum. Why is there a green candelabra? That's just bad interior design. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. You can also go off to a um, 
Lost Island on a boat in this game. It's incredibly difficult. You have to find this room called a trip switch and then uh, make it all the way to the boat without losing a life, if I recall. We managed it once through a lot of cheating and scumming of save games on an emulator. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Come on. Jip, jip, jip. Yay! Woo! Oh, my goodness. Right. Right, we're getting there. And don't fall down, don't fall down. Perfect. Oh, bloody hell. Hmm. Really don't know how to time this. Let's just go for it. Risk it for a biscuit. Buggers! Let's remember to jump that arrow this time, actually. Buggers! Right. Oh, dear, this doesn't look... Oh, yes! Yes! Look at that. Right, now we've got to go past this speed demon who's flying up and down with his uh, pokey stick. Oh, bloody hell, that was terrible. No! Every time I forget. No! Right, this is <laughs> this is the last life already. I am terrible at this game these days. I don't think that was a positive ending. Bugger it. Damn your alien planet. Damn it to hell. Instead, we are going to go... Oh, the music. We're going to go out to the right of the house and see if I can reach the off-license. Basically... Can't get to the alien planet, so I'm going to get drunk instead. I need to remember the... Oh, God, I think there's some more um, of those hunchback guys, the uh, security guard types. Oh, that's going to be nice. Anyway. Tell me what, actually. Bloody hell, how'd you get past this guy? Ah, uh, oh, not like that. Okay, I don't know if she can actually can jump in like that. There we are. I've just lost two lives pissing around. What am I doing? We've got colour clash off that one. There we are. Master bedroom just wants to go to bed. But no! Look at that. Amazing at the time. Well, kind of. Also, uh, that uh, flashing item is apparently supposed to be a perfume bottle. I'm going to call the fact that there was a bit of a bug going on there. Thank you for restarting me directly on top of the enemy. That's brilliant. Do you know what? I'm not going to take the tap for good luck, because it hasn't been good luck. It's been bad luck. Bad luck all the goddamn way. Also, what the hell are those things in the dumb waiter? Potted plants or something? I don't know. Oh, Macaroni Ted, we're so sick of your stupid, stupid submarine face. Right, I'm not going to piss around in the bedroom this time. I'm going straight down. I'm trying to think what is to the right. The chapel and the library and things like that. Hence the uh, cross up there. Right. It does Brave Mega Ron. I don't know what that's a reference to. A bloke called Ron who's really mega, I suppose. Ah, the butler's pantry. Three butlers all running around under some booze because they have no arms and therefore can't actually serve it into the horrible spider faces. Ugh. Right, Ballroom West. It doesn't look like it. There's actually a conveyor belt on this bar. Right. Oh, God. How do we, uh, do we go straight out here or do we go up? One way to find out. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you, Cyan Bird. Oh, yeah, this is it, I think. Over. I don't know if they're. Are they supposed to be plants or broken bottles, do you think, that are jumping over at the moment? No idea. Go on. And. Bam, 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 the front door. With like a rabbit's head or something at the top. Oh, oh, bloody assholes. You do not, whatever you do, fall down the hole at the bottom of the screen as it's instantly game over. You end up in a room called Entrance to Hades, where there's a horrible melting skull face and it says, Die Mortal, and you just repeatedly fall down to your death. Actually, no, I think they fixed that in two. It was only in the first one you would repeatedly fall to your death. Anyway, I need to use the old uh, jumping, through the, uh, jumping through the stairs trick. Mm, I'm not sure I am, actually. I think I might just... Uh, do that and then oop hey talk about pixel perfect jumping right oh bums oh did you did you yay oh it's much easier than the other one look at that oh god why so many birds on the drive uh, how are we gonna uh hmm how's this gonna oh, good 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 ah oh, I see I see I do right so we need to time this oh Nope, all the timing's knocked out. Ah, that'll teach you. And at the f oh, the mega tree. 
Right. Little known fact, the third Jet Set Willy game, I don't know why I said little known, probably everybody knows it, but the third Jet Set Willy game was going to be based in this mega tree. Basically, you can go up here and find the Ewok village and stuff like that. Oh, God. Actually, is Ewok village just up here? I might have a look if so. Ugh, I don't think it bothers to go all the way up. It wasn't very interesting. It was just some crap sprites that looked like him, but with a teddy bear's head, and they were the Ewoks. Um... Yeah, the third game was going to be entirely based in the Mega Train. It wasn't going to be like a platform game. It was going to be some sort of top-down thing. But almost no data of it exists anymore, which is a shame. And everybody thought the third instalment was going to be called Minor Willy Meets the Tax Man, because that was kind of a joke that uh, Matthew Smith did about his own tax situation. Oh, balls. See that coming? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Ignoring the death beforehand, that was a really good run of the bridge. The garden. Oh, the garden is entirely a conveyor belt and is full of purple things. At the top. Oh, oh chip, chip. No, chip. Ah. The bloody hell. And people say Dark Souls is hard. Get a load of this. Or some of the old Mega Man games. Okay, I know I said no editing, but bugger it. We're going to see this alien planet. And I'm going to nick that bell. Haha. -ha. So, through the annoying, annoying up on the battlements is We Must Perform a Quirker Fleeg. Now, this was a very confusing name to us back in the day because, of course, it means absolutely nothing. But, in fact, it's a reference to an old, uh, I think it's Fabulous Furry Freak Brothers comic strip where um, there's like a religious ceremony called a quirker fleeg that they must uh, perform all of a sudden. It involves lots of bowing or something. I don't know. I remember seeing a scan like 20 years ago or something. So this time, rather than jumping across, you have to actually go up the ladder. Well, the rope, as actually, because it's not a ladder at all. If you go across, there's some more hunchback-themed rooms, including uh, Rescue Esmeralda at the end, where you have to pick up an item behind a little Esmeralda figure and not actually touch Esmeralda because she's an enemy for some reason. So, up here, whoop, the Watchtower. Previously the highest point of the house. And if you jumped up the top, you appeared at the bottom of the house or something ridiculous. There's a very worrying Trifford thing going on there. All right, whoop. There we are, and we're up. But now in Jet Set Willy 2, if you jump up, the rocket's room! And look, he's got his spaceship on, ready? Because, pick up the two items and... There's a squeaking noise and it spews out a load of things behind it. That look like old uh, punch tape data, but probably isn't. So, you now end up in the docking bay of the spaceship. And you don't go this way. But this is NCC-1501 in a Star Trek reference. And in fact, if you map the... Um, actual spaceship, it forms the shape of the Starship Enterprise very loosely. This is the cartography room, the most confusing room in the game. To get the diamond at the top, you have to visit rooms in a certain order, because what you're seeing here is actually a map of the route I took to get here. And I believe the solid blocks are the ones that I picked up all the um, items in, and the green blocks that you can go through, like that, um, are the ones that still have items remaining. And any rooms that didn't have any items at all, obviously, are instantly blocked off. Now, I've got to try and get up the main lift. There's a lot of giant cups and saucers for a spaceship, but... Uh, hey, there we go. Now, I remember these being quite deadly, but I can't remember the specifics, which is going to be a problem. You have to stand to one side, I'm sure. Yay! There we go. Main lift one. Now, do we go left or right? We're going left. I think that was it. Right, ship's computer. Looking a bit outdated, I'm going to be honest with you here. Up, round and down. Oh, what? what? Oh, no, it's a conveyor belt. I'm stuck and I have to jump in that direction. You big swine. Right, let's sneak through the defence system. Which looks more like weaponry to me. And the bizarre Alienate room. Possibly a reference to an old game called Alienate, uh, which was spelled A-L-I-E-N-8 and certainly didn't have Jet Set housekeeper in a furnace. Right, Captain Slog. <laughs> See what they've done there. Do we, I don't remember, we go down here, but maybe not. Let's wander up and pick up what could be a clamshell or a laptop. I really don't know. Ah, right. This is where you can beam to the alien planet in Beam Me Down Spotty. I've got to work out how to get down now. I can't actually remember. This is a problem. 
Uh, I think, ah, right, we're going to have to do the... If you get this exactly right on these stairs and inclines, you can walk through the bottom. Nope, this is going to be frustrating. No, it's far too fun. Go on, go on, go on, go on. No, let's try that. No, this one maybe. Oh yes, look at that. I shall have that to celebrate. Right, running through here versus the giant macaroni Ted, except the snorkel's been replaced by a coin, because yes. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, one of these takes you to the alien planet and one takes you back to the house. And I can't remember which is which. So I'm going to quick save here. <laughs> and save the uh, emulator's memory to uh, make sure that I don't muff it up. We're going to go to the right. It's an amazing effect. Balls! Reload. Let's try the other one. I can't remember what the one the bottom left does. I think they go somewhere. And Alien Planet, here we come. To the hideously ugly teleport screen. The Alien Planet is notoriously incredibly difficult. Oh, no, it can't go through. I thought there was a secret. There's a secret tunnel somewhere on this planet, but I can't remember what it is, or where it is, or where it goes. So, I'm... oh, God, it's a conveyor! You bastard! Right, I'm quick loading. Oh, it got me good. It got me good. Oh, I have to sit through this bloody thing sequence again. Bloody conveyor belt. I remember this being hard, but crikey, O'Reilly. It also um, has lots of weird stuff in, which wouldn't have fitted in the game engine of the original. Oh, no, chip, Brilliant. Ugh. Oh, chip, 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 We may be here for some hours. I'm going to get at least two screens into the alien planet. That is my destiny. Bloody cyan bird. Up yours. Right, I'm going to hide down here until we can get past the alien block. If this is... Bloody hell. If this is an alien planet, why are there so many birds and things on it? Oh, for crap. Getting a bit sick of this screen now. I'm going to do it. I am going to bloody do it. I will not be beaten by what seems to be a white balloon from the old 60s series The Prisoner and a bird in an annoying light blue colour. Come on. Oh, look at that. That's more like it. Oh! Ah! When, ah! when do you get started again at that point? It's basically instant bloody death. Right, I know what I'm doing now. You have to release the back button before tapping jump for him to jump forward. I continuously forget this when you're on a conveyor belt. Because it's not something that comes up very often in my everyday life anymore. Right. Go, go, go. Bollocks. Oh my god, I made it past the checkpoint of death. Oh, it's a... a... really should start just pressing the keyboard shortcut for that. I'm going to do this. I am going to do this. Are they space invaders you're picking up? I just realised. Or crappy knockoff space invaders. Oh no, run, run, run. Oh yes. Beautiful. Oh no, messed that up. Oh bloody hell. Oh, no, chip, chip. Ah! Really, I should quick save after this annoying, flickery teleportation sequence. You know what? I think it's my punishment for failing every time. Right. Bollocks! Run, run, run. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. oh, look at that. Except I now have no lives in reserve. Holy crap! Ba -ba 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 -dum -bum. And what is the next room? There! Ah! Galactic Invasion, which I seem to remember being almost impossible to get across. Oh dear. So many sprites, it's slowing down a bit. Oh god, they're dropping things. 
Oh, bloody hell, I nearly had it. Ah, oh, dearie me. And they said doing Let's Plays was easy. And they were right. I've done all types of YouTube content, and this is probably the easiest, because you're just reacting to something that's giving you a constant stream of stimulus, and then you can edit it down to make yourself look better. Anyway, bye, everyone. The Nerd Cube. The Nerd Cube.